Hope you're enjoying this rainy day and I hope you're feeling in the holiday spirit this morning. If you're not, just look at the heads of our first two guests this morning and that's going to get you feeling ready for the holidays. This is Raquel Morris, Abigail Martin. They are here representing the McNabb Center. Great to see you both. Thank you so much for having us this morning. And y'all are gearing up and asking us to help you in the effort for the 20th year, is that right, Raquel? Yes. For the Dear Santa program. Mm -hmm. Tell me what the Dear Santa program involves. Yeah, so it's a gift sponsorship program for kids in our programming. Um, and we match up kids to sponsors in either um, local individual sponsors, or we do have some big donors as well mm -hmm. um, through churches and other local businesses. So people have to act quickly, Abigail, because November 21st is the deadline mm -hmm. to sign up to be one of those sponsors. Y'all service, though, a very special group of young people in the area. You deal primarily with mental health. Yes, ma'am. That can look like any number of things, though, for these kids. You want to give mm -hmm. us a few examples of things you yeah. see? Absolutely. So we have multiple facilities across Hamilton County, across East Tennessee. We have McMinn County. So we're very um, into the local efforts here. Mm -hmm. So that's for us. We're the nonprofit leading provider for mental health treatment, substance use, victim and social services. And we serve all ages. And so with Dear Santa specifically, we are serving those just as young as a couple of months old, all the way up to 18 years old. Okay, so let's talk first about the fun of the program mm -hmm. then we'll get into the resort the results that you see every day mm -hmm. at the McNabb Center so somebody's watching they go they sign up and they say okay I want to be Santa Claus for somebody this <laughs> year uh, they can sign up to help a child who's receiving your help or a sibling of that child. Is that right? Absolutely. You yes. can sign up and let us know how many kiddos that you want to help out. As Raquel said, we have big donors and some that are looking for specific families that they want to help out. Mm -hmm. It's people that are near and dear to their heart. So you can let us know how many you're willing to sponsor by going to the Helen Ross McNabb Foundation website and we would be happy to give you all the information. So I'm sure you have to be very careful what you reveal about these children. Um, mm -hmm. Is it a shopping list that you receive of like things that they're wanting? Yes, so we have the kids fill out a wish list. Either okay. the kids or their parents will fill it out for them. Um, and they just put a few things that they really want, um, their favorite colors, their favorite um, interests and things like that. Mm -hmm. And um, we serve all of the kids in the family. So even if just one of the kids is in our services, we make sure to serve all the siblings as well so that so all the kids get a Christmas. The program, as I'm talking to you, my wheels are kind of spinning and all these little things are connecting in my brain. Mm -hmm. um, because you do primarily serve a community that's either underinsured, without insurance, money is tight. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So if you've got a child who's dealing with, let's just say, depression, you're a 12 year old struggling with depression, you can imagine the holiday season might be a little bit extra difficult for mm -hmm. you if the money then is tight mm -hmm. to enjoy mm -hmm. the fun of it. Yeah. Is that sort of the full circle idea here? Absolutely. I think mm -hmm. that's what's the most special about Dear Santa is mm -hmm. um, those that we serve with the most need and fewest resources. The community is able to come in and get those wish lists that they would like and get items. Um, I know I've seen things for young people that are as young as just a few months old up to 18 mm -hmm. and they're looking for toys, things that will help them grow. We mm -hmm. have student athletes that are trying to get better at their sport. Mm -hmm. They're looking for equipment and things like that as mm -hmm. well as some getting ready to go off to college and they're trying to hone in on their skills and so sponsors are able to make a difference and put a smile on uh, mm -hmm. families faces this holiday season. Stretching a dollar is no small thing mm -hmm. and especially right now and I know I happily opened up the show by saying <laughs> I hope you're in the holiday spirit but listen I mean I've been there I have spent many 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 a morning worrying about how I'm just going to stretch a dollar to cover Christmas the way you kind of want to for your family. We all go right. through difficult financial times and if you've ever been blessed enough to not experience that what's your tagline again Abigail? Serving those with the most need and the fewest resources. Okay so mm -hmm. let's talk about how you um, help these children. Christmas is a short season this year mm -hmm. so your deadline to sign up is the 21st yeah. Drop off is the twenty as uh, December sixth. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Um, so, do you have some area stores that you're partnering with to help people shop, or just go where they want to go? Everybody can go where they would like to go. Mm -hmm. It's a free for all. You have time to shop and get signed up, and we'll get those wish lists over to you as soon as you're ready for them. Mm -hmm. um, you service how many? How far does your uh, um, go? So we service pretty much all of the counties in eastern Tennessee. So this region, though, for Hamilton County and Chattanooga is going to be 
Chattanooga, Bradley County, and the McMinn and Meg surrounding counties. Are you seeing an increase in the number of children needing your services? Is mental health becoming a growing issue for young people? I would say so, yeah. It's, it's always a need. It's really a revolving door. We have kids coming in, um, open access four days of the week, um, and new clients coming in um, pretty much every single day. Um, yeah, it's, it's always a need. What does that mean, open access four days of the week? So we have um, a time at, our, at all of our clinics where um, new clients can come in, a window of time, um, either in the morning or in the afternoon, mm -hmm. um, and they can come in and have an intake assessment done. And um, from there, they can be referred to whichever services seem to be the most appropriate, whether that be therapy, medication, or um, our care coordination programs. We have a wide variety. We have a lot of other ones as well. Y'all are not a residential program, are you? I mean, kids don't come to you to stay. No, no okay. not here. No, we don't have any uh, residential programs here okay. for kids. And then do you work closely? I mean, it's a frightening thing to be that parent of a child who's needing some help, but maybe you don't understand the walk they're on. Mm -hmm. So do y'all work closely with the whole family too? Yes, absolutely. We, we try to involve um, parents or caregivers. We have a lot of um, grandparents and legal guardians as well who are involved, um, kids in foster care. We're, we're closely with DCS and things like that um, to make sure that the needs of the kids are met, um, involve the, the parents to, as much as we can um, to make sure that they know what's going on with their kid. I'm going to throw you in the spotlight for a second. So <laughs> Abigail looks familiar. She was a, a reporter here for a while, and you put this McNabb hat on early year mm -hmm. of 2024. You're not from the area originally, but Chattanooga has now become home yes, to you. Have you been amazed at what you've seen now in being part of this program? Absolutely. It's been life-changing for me. Um, I've said it a few different times, but it's been a completely different experience being able to be in a position with amazing counselors and therapists that are able to make a difference in our community that we know needs it so much. We, you know, being in news, we've seen it a lot. Mm -hmm. And so being able to provide resources for all ages is, you, you can't beat it. We have a great team too. I think the key mm -hmm. word you used is community. I mean, we are still, I know Chattanooga's growing and that's a great thing, but we are still a very tight mm -hmm. community and you can't do that if we're not all a part of it, supporting each other. So what mm -hmm. a fun thing. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is reach out to them, get the name of a child who needs a few things, go have fun shopping and feeling the Christmas spirit and know how much you're giving back to help. Mm -hmm. So where do they go to get the Dear Santa name? You'll go to the Helen Ross McNabb Foundation website, click on Dear Santa, and we would be happy to provide all the information for you. All right, you look cute in your hat. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Chris Keith from Wedemark Keith. After a car wreck, things can get really tough. Let us help make that easier. We're more than lawyers. We're your support, guiding you through a potential nightmare. For us, it's more than a case, it's personal.